Pam, good morning. Hoda, good morning. One hour, 14 minutes, and eight seconds. That is how long this massacre went on for. But the head of Texas's DPS said it could have been three minutes with officers standing by in the hallways with rifles. Later today, Hoda, state senators are going to be talking about mental health services and firearm safety. But the shock of Tuesday's testimony is still reverberating. And using posters, timelines, and maps. Hey, you stop the killing, you stop the dying. The head of the Texas Department of Public Safety called the police response in Uvalde an abject failure. The only thing stopping a hallway of dedicated officers from any room 111 and 112 was the on-scene commander who decided to place the lives of officers before the lives of children. The man Director McCraw is singling out, Pete Arredondo, the school district police chief, previously told the Texas Tribune he never considered himself the incident commander. On Tuesday, he declined to answer questions. Climbing into an elevator. But McCraw said that you were wrong in the moment. After five hours of closed-door testimony before the Texas House. But during an open Senate session, fresh evidence from inside Robb Elementary's hallways, cultivated from surveillance footage, like these images obtained by the Texas Tribune and Austin Statesman, body camera video and audio recordings appears to contradict concerns about lack of firepower armor or locked doors according to the testimony at 11:33, the gunman begins shooting into the classrooms by 11:35, three uvalde police officers enter with two rifles followed by ardondo and three other officers the chief calling for backup five minutes later i need some more firepower in here because we all have pistols and this guy's got a rifle. At 11.52, the first ballistic shield arrives with two more about 11 minutes later. It could have been used immediately. Investigators also determined none of the police radios worked inside the school hallways, only those belonging to Border Patrol. And the classroom doors were unlocked per state investigators, even as Arredondo spent roughly 40 minutes trying to locate a master key. So the teacher could not even lock the classroom door from the inside? That's correct. There's no way to lock the, the door from the inside. Parents demanding answers about the police response. Vest, helmets, anything you could think of, they had it. Local leaders pointing out there were more than a half dozen agencies responding, not just Uvalde police. They like it's the perfect storm of what not to do happened in Uvalde, Texas. Sam, one of the most disturbing pieces of information to come out yesterday has to do with the husband of one of the teachers who died, himself a police officer. What did you learn? And Savannah, it's heartbreaking. According to the director's testimony, Officer Ruben Ruiz received a phone call from his wife, Eva Morales, from inside the classroom that she had been shot and was dying. And according to the director, he went in to try to get her to save her, but he was detained, had his weapon taken away, and was removed from the premises. Now, the director did not specify which agency did that, but there will no doubt be questions this morning and people looking for an explanation as to why this man was not able to try and save his wife. Ooh. Savannah? Sam, I had a really disturbing hearing yesterday. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Let's go uh, back to Kevin.